Your child's teacher could get shot with pellets during active trainer shooting if they agree to it. Lawmakers talked about the proposal today. A State House Bureau Chief David Williams reports opinions are mixed. Painful welts, blood drawn. Last month, we told you about some Indiana teachers who said they were hurt after going through a mandatory active shooter training at an elementary school earlier this year. The White County Sheriff's Department hosted that training. The teachers said they were told to crouch down in a room in groups of four. Indiana's State Teachers Association told us last month that deputies then shot the teachers execution style with some kind of projectile. Well, today, while discussing a teacher handgun training bill, lawmakers passed an amendment making it clear that during active shooter drills, pellets or projectiles might be used. It's got to do with reality and making sure that uh, they experience um, the emotions and the adrenaline and everything that happens in the training, but it's not required uh, for anybody to participate. Again, it would only be if the teacher, as you mentioned, uh, if a teacher would uh, uh, desire to be part of the training, first of all. Allowing the pellets as an opt-in or opt-out or projectiles as an opt-in or opt-out. Uh, that's probably better than not having language at all about that. Today, State Senator Brian Buchanan said he talked to the White County Sheriff after the incident. All teachers were told uh, what was going to happen and given a chance to opt out and shown a video of what was going to happen. Last month, ISTA told us they want changes and they want this bill to put reasonable limits on drills like this. And I just got word a little while ago that bill passed committee. It's now headed to the Senate floor for a vote. In the State House, I'm David Williams, Wish TV, News 8.